What kind of medications can 3D printers create? When the first 3D printed medication was approved by the United States Food and Drug Administration in 2016, it was a big moment for the whole 3D printing community. So after all these years, I thought I would summarize exactly what kind of medications those 3D printers can create in practice. Number one, personalized pills. These are pills tailored to the specific needs and requirements, especially about dosage for individual patients. Number two, chewable medicines. These medications printed by a 3D printer can be very useful for kids and for adults who have a hard time swallowing larger pills. Number three, controlled release tablets. Because 3D printers can create complex structures within a pill, it can allow for controlling how the medication will be released and digested over time. Number four, polypills, when one pill can include multiple types of medication in one package. Number five, orphan drugs. For example, drugs 3D printed for patients with maple syrup urine disease. Number six, clinical trial management. 3D printers can create tablets and pills, allowing a rapid adoption of needs, specific needs during research and clinical trials. And number seven, combination drugs, implants or devices combined with a pharmaceutical agent, for example, a stand coated with a truck. So these are the kinds of medications 3D printers can actually create. If you like this video, please subscribe below to get notified about every single new video we come up with. And also please go to medicalfuturist.thinkific.com where you will find our two courses, the Digital Health course and our newest one, Introduction to Artificial Intelligence in Medicine and Healthcare. See you there.